What's going on YouTube, El Tigre here, back again with another video, and today, the group stages have ended, it's time to move on to the finals of the E-League Major. I just wanted to show you guys my bracket here really quick, give you guys an update, and tell you my picks for the quarterfinals matches that are be coming up on Friday and Saturday. So, here's what we're going to be talking about, guys. Here's the, my bracket on screen. As you can see here, managed to do pretty well. I'm um, only seven points away from the bronze trophy. I was only wrong on three of my picks, which I think, based on the Swiss system, is actually a very good start, especially to this Major, this was a very hard system to pick because we could only pick who we thought would move on and who we thought would win undefeated and who we thought would go completely defeated. We didn't get to know who they were playing, which makes a huge deal in how you make your picks. Typically, you get to know who they're playing. And we also didn't know what maps they were on, which also made it very difficult because some teams play well on other maps, which is arguably less important as knowing who, the, who your opponent is. But again, it made it a lot tougher to pick. You, you could pick the day before the match. You could know what was going on. Uh, but this was a lot different. You're flying blind. You had to commit early. So I think I did relatively well. I was a little surprised uh, that neither the French team made it especially because g2 started out so strong and envious actually played pretty convincingly both of them were eliminated g2 was absolutely blown out of the water towards the end they really crumbled and fell apart just were not playing well as a team uh, if you guys did not watch any of these games i feel sorry for you they were very entertaining very fun even though i didn't get any drops sadly they were fun to watch i did watch every single one of them or listen to them kind of through headphones while i was at work so uh, i did get to get to see all of it it was pretty cool um but here's my bracket again like i said uh hellraisers i was correct in that pick i got three points for having them be completely defeated astralis sadly did not go three and oh so i didn't get the picks there they did move on to the playoffs uh, in the quarterfinals um so didn't lose an opportunity there but had i kept avertus pro in that original spot like i think i had them i would have gotten even more points three more points because astralis would have given me the three points for being in the playoffs so sadly i messed up and switched those out but uh, that's my fault uh, but i couldn't ask for this to be any better i was surprised that gambit uh esports did as well as they did they really came out of nowhere i could not have Predicted that, predicted that in the beginning, and then Fnatic somehow managed to clinch. They had some very easy opponents, in my opinion, going into this entire thing, so had I known that they would be playing the way they were, and they had the opponents they had, I may have considered them for the playoffs, but I didn't. So everything else, uh, all the other teams, I was correcting the picks, so if you followed along with me, congratulations, you're now only seven points away from getting yourself at least the bronze trophy. But we're going to be shooting for silver here because upcoming are the quarterfinals matches. Now, unfortunately, as of the time I'm recording this, I cannot actually physically make picks, but I do have who will be playing who on Friday and Saturday. So kicking us off on Friday is Navi versus Astralis and typically I would say this is a close game and a good one to watch and it very well could be but just based on the speed, tempo, and just raw skill that Navi has been showing this entire major so far, I, they are an easy pick for me. If Astralis manages to upset, I will be incredibly shocked but Navi has just been such a powerhouse this entire major, I would not bet against them in this situation. Um, so they have my pick, I will put the sticker on there and I will post a picture on Twitter, so follow me there. The link is in the description of all my videos. You can find me on Twitter and follow me for updates and giveaways and other cool stuff. Anyway, going back to this, Fnatic plays Gambit Esports. To me, that's a very easy pick. Gambit has been playing very well as a team. Fnatic really don't deserve to be, in my opinion, in the quarterfinals at all. I don't think they played well. I don't think they, I don't think they communicate well. So I will be giving Gambit my pick for this quarterfinal game. And then Virtus Pro play North. Now, North had a very, very good clutch overtime win against um, God sent on overpass in this elimination game north started out one and two managed to fight their way back to win three games practically in a row to get to the playoffs um i would not count them out however virtus pro being as good as they are and as strong as they are in best of threes i also would not bet against them they are one of the oldest rosters oldest lineups and very very good at adjusting so i think north will get a fast start but i have to give this one to virtus pro so i'm gonna put my sticker on them again i'll post a picture on twitter to prove all of this so follow me there down below and finally, on Saturday, we have probably one of the hardest picks to make overall in these quarterfinals here. And this is FaZe Clan versus SK Gaming. Now, these two met in a best of one during the group stages, with SK barely winning in overtime. FaZe Clan really could not pull it together towards the end there. FaZe Clan also playing very well, and SK have seemed to find their rhythm. They did struggle a lot versus teams like Na'Vi when they were playing in this entire major teams that were on that caliber. SK really just couldn't find themselves, and part of that is because they have Fox standing in uh, ever since they dropped Fur out of their lineup. So... Uh, uh, I will give this one to SK. I think that the safer pick, Face Clan, just not proving that they can keep up throughout the entire match, and especially in the best of three, I think the map pool favors SK Gaming a lot more. I could be wrong on that, but I think SK is just the better team overall to win this. So again, guys, my picks are Navi over Astralis, Gambit 
over Fnatic, Virtus Pro over North, and SK over FaZe. Now that hopefully should earn us the bronze trophy and as well as get us pretty close to the silver trophy. So if you want to follow along with my picks, go ahead. Uh, I just want to give this information out there for you guys so you can accurately make your picks. If you're like me and are unable to actually stay at your computer all day watching the major or even keep up with the major, I recommend downloading this app. It's called The Score Esports. It's available on Android and iPhone. If you have one of any of those smartphone devices, uh, you can. it has all of it laid out for you. It gives you scores, real-time events. You can even watch it on Twitch through the app, which I think is a very cool feature. You are not eligible for drops in-game unless you link your Twitch account, um, but if you want to just keep up with the major, at least just track scores during the day, the score esports i'll have a link down in the description to at least their website or even their app if you're on mobile download it it's what i use to keep up with everything you can also uh, pick your favorite teams as well as keep track of all news on players and rosters as they move along in the future which will help you make informed picks on any pick'em challenge as you go along in future majors so uh, hopefully this video was helpful to you guys if you have any differences with my picks or you think differently than me let me know down in the comments below i will be sure to respond thank you guys so much for watching my name is el tigre and i will see you next time